So yeah, let me help with these bubbles and I'll get back to you. See, she just signed for help. Good job, high five. Can you sign for more? How do you do more? You want more bubbles? Show me more. Good morning, guys, and welcome back to our autism journey. If you're new, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It is Saturday. I am having a little mom's night out. Um, she'll be with her dad tonight. We are doing bubbles right now. We are about to start potty training again. I talked to her teachers about being on the same page. So we're about to try again and see how it goes. Um, but yeah, we're chilling right now. Can you say hi? Good job. This is Mila's way of saying hi. And I'll take it. Good job, Mila. High five. I got you. <laughs> if you're new, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in a little bit. Bye. Yes, help. Look, this is more. You do it. No, do more. Good job. High five. So, yeah, we're getting better. I'm so proud of her and all that she is accomplishing. You're so smart. Yes, you are so smart. Kisses? Kisses? Thank you. Where's pink? Good job. Where's orange? Good job. Where's purple? Good job. Okay. That boy has had enough of you. Where's A? Good job. Where's G? Good job. Where's I? Where's J? Good job. Where's E? Good job. And she's out just like that. She's going to wake up her daddy. She's going to look in the room and then she's going to run out. Yep, told y'all. I know her too well. As you can see, her party's on the floor. This is one I'm getting rid of because she doesn't really use it. I didn't clean up last night before she went to sleep, so that's why it looks like this. But her closet still looks amazing, so I'll take it. Chubby drive, look alive, look alive Niggas came up on this side, now they on the other side Oh well, fuck them dawg, we gon' see how hard they ride I get racks to go outside, and I split it with the guys We up on the other side, niggas actin' like we tied I been gone since like July, niggas actin' like I died They won't be expecting shit when Capo go to slide Cause I told them that we put that shit behind us, but I lied Hey. Hey, look who I'm around, man. If I fuck up, I'ma beat downtown, man. Folk flow down, man. That's if I get caught, man. Push me to the edge, so it really ain't my motherfucking fault, man. I'm not to blame, man. The fucking industry is cut, though. I'm not the same, man. Good morning, guys. It is a new day. Yesterday, me and my friend went out. Boo was like, okay. Um, but I just wanted to get out the house. Why? Um... Today we're going to a birthday party, 
uh, Mila's dad's friend's son is having a birthday party, so we're going there. Y'all know I get super nervous taking her to parties and not knowing how she's going to act, but we're going to go. I'll keep y'all updated on that. Um, Mila has an obsession with balloons. Um, and when she sees balloons, and most of the time at birthday parties, is decorations. She feels like she's supposed to do the typical thing with balloons, play with them. But for decorations, they're not supposed to be touched. So hopefully she does fine with that. Not sure how she's gonna do, but we will see. All right, we left the party. Mila was in there for like two minutes and she wanted to pull down the decorations. When I even pull them down, she just wanted to play with the balloons and it was gonna ruin the little boy's decorations. Um, I'm starting to know that it is okay to miss certain events that she can't really have fun or be herself. I'm starting to really, really learn that and not so much of a thing where she's missing out on life. If she's not enjoying it, why take her? Um, so I realized like birthday parties at play places are more of her speed where it's no such thing as rules or being in somebody else's house. You got to kind of watch what you do more so play places it's a lot of space it's open you don't have to be in one room because that's not Mila and I don't want to even put her in a situation where she has to be someone she's not my battery's about to die so I'm hurry up and talk anyways we are about to go to Target me her sister her dad um and also have a bubble party because Mila loves bubbles so much her sister does too so now we're going to do something that's more of Mila's speed that she enjoys and likes to do so I'll catch y'all in a little bit. Bye. Your body drive me crazy. Your body need a license fit. Your body are too tight and neat. Anybody who got eyes can see. She just wanna dance and tease. She just wanna dance and tease me. 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 all right good morning guys it is the next day i just took me to school straight after school she'll have speech therapy now i don't know if this is going to be a lot for mila but we're going to see um i feel like she just needed a little bit more in school it's full day so it was taking up all of our time so i was like why don't i try it we'll never know until we try because usually mila's really tired after school um so if it's a bit much then we won't do it but it i felt like it didn't hurt to try i feel like why not try more um because school doesn't have like intense speech therapy um they just do the basics and i feel like it's not enough for mila and i feel like she needs more so we're gonna try this we'll see how it works if it doesn't work we will go back to the drawing board um but since she only is four and she'll be five next year i just really want to find the perfect not even the perfect because nobody's perfect but the best therapies for Mila. okay so i've been doing my research i've talked to a lot of people my mom and dad actually went to a networking event for autism last weekend they gave me a lot of good uh resources so i've been reaching out to them as well so next year i feel like will be the year where mila is set with therapies i have been through so many therapists so many different places that just didn't please me as much um, but yeah, I'm at Starbucks and then at 2.30 I will go to, to get Mila so we can start speech therapy. So wish us luck. All right. It's such a hard day of work. Sorry. We ain't even get Mila yet, so you know. It's about to get real turned up in this car. Ain't that right? All I'm trying to do is take a five minute nap. Go to sleep. <laughs> All right, we're home. I'm about to put me in the shower, but I feel like speech therapy went well. She said she got frustrated once, of course. Um, we're working on her motor skills, so when it comes to puzzles and putting certain things in certain ways, it just makes her frustrated when she can't do it. Um, but as far as her going to speech therapy at the school, I feel like for now it will work, but we'll see. Stuff changes with Mila all the time. Um, 
So yeah, I'm about to put her in the shower. I feel like speech therapy kind of throws off my schedule too, or maybe it's something I have to get used to. I don't know, because I'm so used to coming straight home, um, taking off her clothes, feeding her, and letting her get an hour nap. It kind of threw her off too, because she was like, hold on, why am I here? Like, I'm supposed to be at home. So we'll see how next week, next week goes, but for right now, she did good so far. So we'll see. This is Mila typically in the morning. She comes in the office like she's working from home. Literally. <laughs> Good morning, Mila. Say so we're ready for school. You ready for school? Hmm? No, it's so gloomy outside today, huh? You know what's crazy? Because when Mila... Um, when Mila... The, when the weather is bad outside Mila typically gets you know how we get when we're like it's raining it's gloomy and we're like Ugh, we don't want to do nothing that's how she gets too and it's actually funny because her therapist told me that some kids with autism are very very sensitive to weather um look it up on google because I did and it explained everything to me so that's just a fun fact when Mila's working from home before school this is typically what she does and this is my old laptop so I don't really care <laughs> right yeah good morning precious face you ready for school hmm yes you are yes you are I love you good morning guys it is the next day a lot of people ask me does Mila take her lunch to school and yes she does all her food is blended so this is spinach and chickpeas I make it the regular way and then I just blend it with some bone broth also to keep it warm so her teachers don't have to warm it up. I have this flask that she's been using since the beginning of the school year called Dacool, D-A-C-O-O-L. It doesn't leak. It keeps her food warm. The key to that is preheating some water, getting some hot water, pour it in, in here before just to like preheat it. Keep it in until you warm up her lunch. So I, what I'll do in the morning is I wake up at like 8 come down here um, warm up some water put it in the flask keep it in there until nine when we're about to go warm up her food and then dump the water out and put her food in and it keeps her food warm honestly she'll come home sometimes with more food in and it's still warm so definitely recommend that um and if y'all want an updated food um you know food routine let me know she did have a, a g2 by 1.2 so she was able to get that out as well with this method I use for food. Um, it is called sensory food aversion. So Mila wants to try new things, but the texture things aren't working for her. And if it doesn't work for her, fine. I still blend her food and that's okay. Like she's eating. Um, I also feel like even though it's blended, she's still getting all her nutrients. Like for this, is uh, I think I mentioned already, chickpea, spinach, and then the bone broth, which is chicken bone broth. So she's getting some protein, she's getting a good carb, and then she's getting a vegetable. So I'm fine with that. She also still eats her avocados. And she's been slowing down on the mashed potatoes, and I'm okay with that because I really don't want her having um, dairy. But yeah, that's just like a little update on food and how I pack her lunch in the morning. So. This is her lunchbox. It has pouches, smoothie pouches, avocado. I also pack our spoon with a spoon case um, so that it's not exposed. And these pouches are amazing. I think this helped get her G-tube out too. They're so nasty, but she really likes them. So it's 170 calories. It has banana, strawberry, peanut butter, water, brown rice for protein, and it's no sugar. They use monk fruit. So, I like those as well. Now, these aren't the best for your kids. I know y'all know about these, but she still likes them, so I'm okay with it. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna hit y'all when I drop her off. I thought I was taking Mila to school, but it was a two-hour delay, and obviously, I didn't get the memo. So, I'm going back in the house, and she just won't go to school today. I don't really understand, because it's only rainy outside, so. I need to get her two steps back in action because 
she's starting to uh, chew on things and her teacher said she was chewing on her clothes yesterday. So I need to get that back in session. Ready, <laughs> set, you better run. here it's been a long day um yeah we just been chilling and Mila's been home so I'm tired cooked her some food I made a reel on Instagram wanted to detail about everything that I cooked her um so yeah I'll catch you guys in the next vlog don't forget to like comment and subscribe and we will see you guys in our next video <laughs>